Guildford was more than just uh, going to a classroom. A lot of your learning was done outside the classroom through your interaction with boys from all around the state and uh, learning so much about what they did um, on farms or on stations. Um, that to me was uh, definitely a highlight of uh, my education at Guildford. I'm Angus Callender and I was at uh, Guildford Grammar School from 1966 to 1976. I was in Stirling House for uh, most of that time but also in Hens House in my last year at school. We uh, lived in Hens House where my father was a housemaster for nine or ten years. It was great for me because uh, I had a lot of great friends living on the other side of a wall. Uh, it was a wonderful experience. My mother played a big role in that period as a house mother and also a mother to six children so it was a wonderful experience. Having the uh, interaction with boarders, because Guildford in those years was a predominantly boarding school, and it was wonderful to uh, mix with boys from all around Western Australia, learning about towns like Cogenup and Beverley and York and all these remote areas, and boys that came from pastoral stations in the north and north of Carnarvon and in the Pilbara, Mekathara, Mount Magnet, all these lovely places that are folklore in Western Australia and you got to know about it and I don't think uh, other schools had that because they didn't have the predominance of borders that Guildford had. Guildford was really a progressive school in the 60s and 70s that, in terms of uh, we uh, had Aboriginal boys coming to the school for the first time and the names Kickett and Garlets and Maguires. We had uh, students coming from overseas uh, from Malaysia and uh, his parents ran rubber plantations, so we got to, got to learn a little bit about that because uh, that's what we did, we interacted and we didn't have access to television or mobile phones or internet. We used to talk a lot and communicate a lot. We'd secure a uh, weekend away with the day boy so they'd have a bit of city experience. And it was wonderful uh, for a city boy to learn so much about farming and agriculture and uh, realise that uh, how hard these people did work and what a great uh, experience was to interact with them. In the 1960s, 50 years ago this year, uh, the school um, hired in a lot of uh, black and white televisions. We didn't have colour television in those days. And we were allowed to sit at our desk for the whole day and watch the landing on the moon. Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon and uh, rather, rather grainy footage, but it was uh, a historic day and it was great to be part of it while we were at school. Well, I must tell you about the, uh, the, stri the great strike in uh, 1972, which was uh, when the boys, in those days, you weren't allowed to have your hair over your collar. So this planning went on for a couple of um, months about having a strike and not going back to school after lunch on a particular day. So we all stood, uh, sat down on the chapel close and uh, the bell went and the uh, acting headmaster at the time, Mr Waller, came out and said, get back to class. Everyone dispersed. So these months of planning for the, uh, the great strike, I mean, it lasted a couple of minutes. Ha, ha, ha.